It's Grace here. I'm so glad you guys are with us today. I don't know about you, but I've been thinking a lot about feeling lonely. I really miss my friends. Some of them are at school, some of them are learning at home, some of them are going back to school, some of them aren't, and I just really miss them. One thing that I know is true is that God's love fills us up and comforts us no matter what. This week, we're going to talk about what it means for God to comfort us in all things. Let's take some time for our God sightings. Where have you seen God at work in your life? What's something good that's happened to you this week? Take some time to talk about it with your family. This week, we're going to be hearing a story about the woman at the well, and she was at the well one day and was very lonely until Jesus meets her and tells her about God's gift of living water. Living water. Hmm. What's that? Well, let's learn more. Hey, everybody, listen up. Here's what God has to say. Um, where is everybody? Hello? Anyone? What's up, man? We're all right here. Oh, that's a relief. I was beginning to feel really lonely. I get that. Everybody can feel lonely sometimes. But listen up. You don't have to feel lonely anymore. For real? Tell me more. In John chapter 4, there was a Samaritan woman who felt lonely. We know this because she came to draw water from the well all by herself. And at a time of day when no one would be there. That's kind of sad sounds like she didn't have any friends. It seems that way. Most women would go get water together. They would talk and laugh on the way to the well and help each other as they filled their jars. Everyone knew this woman had made some pretty bad mistakes in her life. Because of her bad decisions, no one would be friends with her. Instagram followers? Zero. Think you could say that. So Jesus was traveling from Judea to Galilee. Back then, people would walk from town to town, which could be very tiring. Dude, according to this map, that's about 70 miles. That's quite a hike. I bet it took forever. We don't know how long it took, but we do know that Jesus and his disciples stopped in Samaria. And because it was a really hot time of day, Jesus decided to rest by a well where people would come to get water. Too bad he didn't have a camel back. A camel back? I'm sure there was a camel with a back around there somewhere, but what good would that do? You know, it'd keep him hydrated. He could sip water through it as he walked. Oh, a camel back. Like those backpacks you put water in, not a camel back. That makes a lot more sense. Either way, Jesus didn't have a camel back. Instead, he asked a Samaritan woman to give him a drink. What? What did she do? Well, in those days, Jews were not supposed to talk, eat, or drink with Samaritan people. Jesus was a Jew, so the woman was shocked that he would ask her for a drink. Kind of like if a superhero were to ask their arch nemesis for a cherry slushie? <laughs> that would, like, never happen. Yeah, it was a big deal for Jesus to speak to her, let alone ask her to get him a drink. She listened as Jesus began to tell her about God's gift that could be hers. What kind of gift are we talking about? Like a new pair of Nikes? A trip to Disney World? A new car? Uh, not quite. None of those things were around back then. Besides, they don't even compare to the gift Jesus was offering her. He told her about the gift of living water. Is that the kind of water you chug down on a hot, sweaty day? No, it's not that kind of water that you drink, but the kind that helps you to never be thirsty again. Just like water satisfies our thirst, Jesus satisfies our hearts. He fills us with his love that never runs out. Sign me up for that. I bet the woman wanted this kind of water. She did. She had been living a lonely life, and she hadn't always made the right decisions. In fact, Jesus told her everything she had done. Oh, like when she spit her vegetables out in her napkin so her parents wouldn't know she didn't eat them? But, uh, oh, 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 
But Jesus didn't make her feel bad for those wrong things. He only wanted her to see how much he cared about her. That's the best. So how did that help her not feel lonely anymore? Well, when we decide to follow Jesus, it's like taking a sip of living water. Jesus fills our hearts up with his love. From then on, he is always with us and there is never a reason to feel all alone. So even when I'm by myself in my room, Jesus is with me? Yep. What about when I'm with a lot of people and I don't know who they are and I still feel alone? Jesus is with me then too? Even then, Jesus loves you and he loves me. When I feel lonely, Jesus is with me. Wow, what a cool story. Jesus gives the woman at the well living water. And we learn that living water is not just the water that you drink every day or go swimming in. <laughs> living water that Jesus offers us fills us in our hearts and in our souls and it satisfies us. When we follow Jesus, it's like taking a sip of the living water and we're filled with his love always and forever. And we'll never be thirsty again. Wow, I am so thankful to have Jesus's living water. I thought it would be cool to do a science experiment to illustrate this point. After Jesus is with the woman at the well, there's a celebration feast. And at the celebration feast, Jesus says, Rivers of living water will brim and spill out of the depths of anyone who believes in me this way. Let's pretend that this bottle of Coke is you and me, and these Mentos are Jesus. We're going to put the Mentos inside the Coke and see what happens when we're filled with Jesus's living water. Okay, so remember, the Coke represents you and me, and the Mentos represent Jesus, okay? So we're going to see what happens when we are filled with Jesus and his living water.
Wow, that was really cool. We know that in times of sadness and hurt, we have Jesus' living water. Not only does his living water brim and overflow, in that case, it exploded. In times of loneliness and happiness, remember that when we follow Jesus, we are never alone. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for always being with us. We are never alone. You are always there to comfort us. Thank you for your living water. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye guys. Have a great week. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him.